So uh, in this module, we'll talk about web database operations. In the 1940s, when the electronic computers were developed and designed by Alan Turing and Von Neumann, they distinctively said that the operations or the instructions in the computer program could alter the instructions and the data was also alterable by the instructions. Now that created a lot of problems and uh, of course that allowed to develop the computers and the revolution was there but that created a lot of problems and the requirement was to have a distinction between the data and the instructions and that is where we come to the two different paradigms of the procedural programming and the database programming and the data is considered different separate from the instructions instructions separate data separate right that was a requirement when the operating systems were introduced but von Neumann and Alan Turing they wanted them to be treated not differently but like similarly so let's proceed ahead and I'll go into more details now when the this pro this problem when occurred so the approach was to separate the database application from the data itself so nowadays they are very very different they are separate they are not alterable the instructions don't alter the instructions the instructions alter the database so the advent was of the procedural programming and the database programming in the database programming we separate the instructions from the database and in the procedural programming the approach is different so if you look at the results which I'll show you the approach the coding approach and the results approach is very different for the procedural programming and for the database programming and the code is written in a very different way in database programming we get the results and then we work on the results the results which I'm talking about is the data which is provided by the database server now why these differences are there I've explained it to you and I'll also talk about the data and nothing but the data now the screen which shows different topics these topics will be covered when we go into the details of this particular module this is the introductory module I will just briefly dwell upon some of the topics which are more interesting which are more uh, requiring more detail which will be I'll get into more detail in the next module so what we have in procedural programming in procedural programming we have the procedures we have the functions we have the main function which you can see on the screen that calls uh, or that generates other procedures and those procedures have more functions and the program is divided into logical parts into logical steps and it it works on those logical steps in a sequential manner and the results are generated and the results are processed and it becomes on your screen so that is the procedural language that is the procedure approach of solving the problem the database approach of solving the problems is different the different in the sense which i have explained earlier that the database is separated from the instructions and the results as they come up from one set of instructions they are processed and used by the uh, sequentially and in that manner so these things will become clear as I explain to you in more detail now uh, this screen shows you how the web page is generated now remember which I have told you in the prior modules also that we are looking at as the three tier architecture so at one tier we have the database server at the second tier we have the uh, application program engine and then we have the client tier so what happens is that your data comes from the database server and that is the query part that is the query part which you can see on the screen and that query part results and adds to the HTML part so we have the HTML part we have the query part and together they generate the page and that page comes in front of you so that is the way the page is generated it is a combination of the text and it is a combination of the data results which are also introduced as text and generate there can be single query there can be multiple queries also now this is the last uh, slide for uh, this uh, module it is data nothing but the data itself now there is a trap trap in the sense that there's a short term approach we have that static web page approach and we have that web application approach 
So in the static web page approach, the text is the data. Or you write the text, for example, your name, your contact information. That information uh, usually stays same, does not changes, right or not. And then you have other information also. So obviously it is simpler to add text to the web page as compared to entering data in a database, right? You understand this. The other problem or other uh, short term benefit is that you don't have to design a database. Entering text in a page. Now the problem occurs when you have to update the page or maintain the page, right? Because then you have to make changes at many, many places. And you can make mistakes while you make the changes and you can miss something. So short term approach, it looks fine. But in the long term approach, all the data which generates the page should go into a database. So you have to be very vigilant that you don't make the mistake of spending time or the short term approach of entering text in a web page and avoiding entering data in a database. So now you understand because once I have the data in the database, then of course what I can do is that I can dynamically generate the pages and it is very convenient.